Hey guys, I'm Victor Gadea, the engineer here at DrumLessons.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about some of the technical terms and theory used when you mic your drum set for recording or for live. So I feel that every drummer should know how to get a good sound out of their drums. It starts with the instrument, the shells, or the cymbals themselves, then the tuning and the skins that you used. You want to tune them properly. Then how you hit the drums in the center or off to the side, and then the microphones and the recording and mixing of your drums. So what I want to talk to you about first is the audio spectrum and frequency response. We assign a measurement to sound waves called hertz, which is a cycle per second. We also call any single hertz a frequency. At birth, as babies, we can hear from 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz or kilohertz. This is called our audio spectrum or frequency spectrum. So to help you understand this more, think of your car or home stereo. You'll generally see a parameter that says bass or low and high or treble. And you can either boost or cut that. This is like our audio spectrum. Think of the bass range as being about 100 hertz to 500 hertz. And the treble is being two kilohertz to about 18 kilohertz. So this is very relevant when it comes to recording your drums or miking them up for a live gig. As each shell or cymbal is made up of a large range of these frequencies. And in that range, there will be peaks and dips in the spectrum that create the overall sound of the drum or cymbal. Okay, so next I want to talk to you about frequency response. So each microphone, when it processes sound, will have something called a frequency response. And this means that different frequencies across our entire spectrum will be boosted and or cut to a certain extent. So this is totally key when choosing the right microphone for each drum, cymbal, overhead, and room mic. For example, think about you want to mic the bass drum. You don't want to choose a microphone that's going to cut off frequencies below 500 hertz because that's where a lot of the energy is of the bass drum, the low end oomph to the drum. So when I choose a microphone for a certain application around the drum set, I'm keeping in mind the frequency response of the microphone as well as what kind of frequencies make up the sound of the shell or cymbal. So with that in mind, let's talk about microphones. So in our studio, we use two types of microphones, dynamics and condensers. So dynamic microphones are pretty durable, not as sensitive as condensers, and they have a less flat frequency response, meaning that there will be peaks and dips to a greater extent across the frequency spectrum than there would be with condensers. Condenser microphones are much more sensitive. They require phantom power, just 48 volts from either console or preamp. And they're have, they generally have a much flatter frequency response, and they pick up a lot more high end than a dynamic microphone. So I hope that helps when it comes to understanding some of the technical terms and technical aspects when it comes to recording your drum set. So feel free to post a recording of, or a video of yourself or even post photos of some of your mic technique and I'd be happy to comment and help you out with any of your trials along the way. So thanks guys and I'll see you around. Hey guys, I'm Victor Gadir. Hey guys, I'm Victor Gadir. Some of the techniques, some of the technical terms. Then the, uh, every drummer should know how to get. Every drummer should, and then the, and then the record. So what I want to is a little bit stuttery at the end. Yep. Yeah, no. Done. Yeah, because I don't mind a little stutter. <laughs>